Hello everyone. Let us see one example of subset construction method. A star A union B hash. So this is equivalent NFA of A star and A union B hash. 9 is an accepting state. To find null closure 0, uh, first include 0 itself. Then from 0 we have a null transition on 1 and we have a null transition to 3. No further null transitions from state 0. So consider state number 1. No null transition from 1. So state 3. From state 3 we have 4 and 6. Two null transitions. Now consider 4 and 6. No further null transitions. And hence this is null closure 0. Let us give this state number A. So this is whatever state we get from null closure 0 that will become starting state of DFA. So for DFA A is the starting state. Now select state A and find move capital A to small a move capital A on input all input symbols we have to find move on all the input symbols a b and hash okay so move a comma small a 0 1 3 4 6 out of them from 1 we have a transition on a and from 4 we have a transition on a 1 is going to state number 2 and 4 is going to state number 5 a transition on 0, 1, 3, 4, 6. After finding this, find null closure of move A, comma A. So find null closure of this set 2, comma 5. Okay. Now to find null closure 2, comma 5, first of all include 2 itself. From 2 we have a null to 3 to 1. So 2, 1, 3. Then from 3 we have uh, sorry, from 1, again refer, no null transition. Then from 3, we have a null transition to 4 and 6. Okay, so 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3. Then from 1, no null transition. From 3, we have a 4 and 6. So this is the state 2, 1, 3, 4 and 6. A new state is introduced and hence this will give the name state B to this. Okay. Uh, okay. These are the states from 2. We have to include the states from 5 also. Uh, so 2, 1, 3, 4, 6 and then include the states from 5 also. So from 5 we have 8. So include 5 first and then 8. So this is state B. Okay, so uh, don't forget both the states from 2 include all the null transitions and from 5 also include all the null transitions. So 5 comma 8, this is a new state which is not equal to A, so B. Now see, from state A on input symbol small a, it is going to state B. So note this down here. If current state is A, input symbol is A, the new state we are getting is B. Okay, now move A comma B. So this is state A. On 6 we have a transition to 7. So include 7. And then find its null closure. So null closure of 7. Null closure of 7. Observe. First include 7 itself. And then include 8. This is a new state C. From A to hash. There are no symbols, no states from where we have a hash transition and hence this is empty. So null closure of empty set is also fine. So this is all about set A. If we have 5 input symbols then we have to repeat this for 5 symbols. Now after completion of A, select state B and repeat these steps. Find null closure, move. B comma A, then find null closure, move B comma B, and then find null closure, move B comma hash. Okay, now let us find move 
capital B on small a. So you can see from state number 1 and again from state number 4, we have a transition on a. So 2 and 5. 1 is going to state 2 and 4 is going to state 5. If you observe, this is nothing but same as this. So you can give this as set a. This is, uh, sorry, set b. This is a repeated set. Okay. Same way from b to small b. Observe 2, 1, 3, 4, 6, 5, 8. So from 6, we have a transition to 7 on input symbol b. And hence, this is similar to state c with that we have got previously. From B on hash, from symbol 8, we have a hash transition to state 9. So, this is null closure 9. From 8, hash 9. And null closure of 9 is nothing but 9 itself. So, this is a new state D. Now, observe from state A on input symbol A, we are going to state B. Then from A, on input symbol B, it is going to C and no transition on hash. It is going to error state. Same way from B on A, it is going to state B. That is same state. From B on input symbol B, it is going to C. And from B on input symbol hash, it is going to state D. Now repeat this process for state C. State C has two symbols, 7 and 8. State C has symbols 7 and 8 and state D has 9. State 9, so repeat this process from these two states. For C, find move C, comma A, move C, comma B, move C, comma hash. Then find null closure of them. So move C comma A, 7, 8. From 7 and 8, there are no transition on A. So this will give empty set and null closure of empty is 5. Same way from C, there is no transition on input symbol B. So this is also an empty set. From C7 and 8, there is a transition on hash that is going to state number 9. And null closure of 9 is again 9, that is nothing but state D. So from C on input symbol hash, we are going to state D. And last state D, find move D, comma A, D, comma B, D, comma hash. And then find null closure of them. If you observe uh, from D, that is from state number 9, we have no further transitions. And hence, all of them will give 5 state. Okay. So, this is end where we are not getting any new state. So, now let us draw DFA from this. We are having this information. Let us draw a DFA. So, beginning from A, on input symbol A, it is going to state B. Then from A, on input symbol B, it is going to state C. From B, on input symbol A, it remains in the same state. On input symbol B, it is going to state C. From B, one more transition on hash. The state that we are getting from hash is always accepting state. And last one from C, there is a transition on hash. So that is also going to state D. So this is equivalent DFA for given MFA using subset construction method. Thank you.